Are you using Schedule to manage your media workflows and resources? Data Miner has seamless integration with Schedule that allows you to ingest jobs and provide you extended resource management support, conflict resolution capabilities, just to name a few. Keep watching to learn more. Schedule is a scheduling software that provides workflow and resource management capabilities to optimize personnel, resources and bandwidth utilization in some broadcast and media environments. Dataminer ingests schedule jobs and immediately link those back into your actual satellite and broadcast operations. If you wish, Dataminer is also fully capable of managing all your resource schedules independently from Schedule. Let's have a look at our Zine demo system, which, by the way, you can also access for free. In here, we have a simulator that produces the same XML job description from Schedule. This is where we can see the details of the work orders and all its different fields. Here's the job description, references to clients and the organization that created it, as well as timing information and resources necessary to carry out the job, like OB truck, its driver, a desk, video, audio and camera operators, and so on. At the bottom of the page there's a button you can click that will get Dataminer to ingest the XML data and create a production job that you will instantly find on the Dataminer production app. If we now go to the Dataminer production app, we should already see the new job listed. We can tell by its name. When you click on the job name, a panel will pop out from the right side containing a stepper line that tells us the job's current state. It's in a draft state now as well as further information about the job itself. If we check up on our selected resources, we can already see that both the desk and OB truck are pre-selected, except the desk selection is as defined by the XML received from Schedule. If we go to the next tab, we can see the listed human resources. Again, we can see which of the preselections came from Schedule's description. However, it seems one of these was already booked for another job during the same period. Schedule can't really see which resources are unavailable during a given time or whether they're under maintenance. If resources are unavailable for any of these reasons, Data Miner will flag it and allow the user to select a different one. Once you're done, Data Miner will book these resources. You might be familiar with the resource scheduling type booking, but if you're not, this is the service and resource management tier that keeps track of resource utilization to ensure nobody takes them after you book them. If we go to the resource scheduler app in Cube, we can find the production job by looking in the timeline. Once we find it, we can expand its resources on the bottom left. Here we can see the list of resources required for the job during the time they're supposed to be in use both requested from Schedule and the ones that were overridden. Want to learn more? Visit our OpenDojo community to find more information about Dataminer's schedule integration as well as anything and everything ICT, media and broadband.